Hey YouTube, it's me, Stunny91. So, um, I'm going to be doing a really quick gold eyeshadow tutorial, and it's really pretty. It's great for, um, going out during the day, or, um, if you're going to be out towards the afternoon until the evening time, this is really great to, um, transition. It's not too dark, and it's not too light. Um, it could be a dual purpose, and, um, Basically, I just used four different eyeshadows, and I'm going to get started. So first, you're going to want to go in with a flat brush, and um, go in with Antique Gold from NYX, or any kind of, kind of um, grayish gold color. And you're going to want to just dip your brush in that, and concentrate it on your lid. Just pat it onto your lid. Don't worry about it being too much. Again, you were going to blend it up, but you really want that gold to um, pop. So you're just going to concentrate it right on your lid. By the way, I already primed my eyes with Too Faced Insurance, um, so yeah, that, just to save time. So here is the gold. It's really hard to see on camera. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Um, but it's just the gold on right on my lid area. And then you're gonna go in with um, Night Porter by NARS, and it looks green when you look at it but when you actually put it onto like you swatch it it's really actually black with like some green i don't know a green color but this is what it looks like so you see it has, has like a hint of green but actuality it's like this dark this really dark sparkly um it's like black eyeshadow something like um oil slick or something like that from urban decay with green in it basically so you're gonna go in with that and with your little tapered like pencil kind of brush thing and um it's gonna dip it but not too much because if you dip it too much it's gonna be too concentrated it's, it's really pigmented so you just tap it off yeah you can hear that I'm tapping off a lot because I put too much on my brush so you guys are gonna see how um dark it does come out So you're just going to make an outer V. I'm just going to concentrate it on your outer V. And you're going to feather it in, kind of, into that gold. And you're going to blend it. So just right onto your outer V. So you see how dark it is? So a little does go a long way. So once you've got that, your outer, that outer V kind of shape thing, you're going to flip it on the other side because this is from the Sally's Beauty Supply Shop and this is awesome. Um, you're going to get an angled brush, an angled fluffy brush, and see how fluffy it is. Um, you're going to go in with Max Foley and it's this reddish brown color. It has a satin finish to it so it's perfect um, for this and it's great for blending out I just realized that now after like for these past few um, makeup looks that I have done um, it's really great because it really blends it out so you guys are gonna see how how much it actually really does blend out so you're gonna dip it in so it's this reddish color and you're gonna want to blend it out right here right above that um, night Porter by NARS that dark black color 
So you're going to use it to blend out. So, um, can you see how blended, how I'm blending it out? Just keep going. This could lots and lots of blending. Because that, um, the Foley, it will just take off that really, really harsh line. And then just flip the brush again if you need to, like, blend this area out with that green. So don't add any more powder to it. You just, I mean, not powder, sorry. Eyeshadow to it, just blend it out. You see how um smoky it looks? So it's kind of like a smoky eye. Sort of. Oops. And just keep on adding foley if you wanted it more blended out. And then you're gonna go in with um any kind of this is just a generic brush that I really, I like it. I only like it for certain things. It's not good for everything. But I like it to use it for my highlight color. So I'm going to go in with um, Urban Decay's Sellout. So it's just like nudish. It has a little bit of a orangey pink tint to it. So it's just a highlight color. So whatever highlight color works for you because not everybody has the same skin color. So, um, your highlight color all depends on what you want. You don't want to go in with, like, um, a really light highlight because it's going to look really weird. So, you're just going to go want something that's a little lighter than your skin color. And then you're going to want to blend it out with your 217 from MAC or any kind of blending brush. Just so it doesn't look so harsh. Just so it looks natural. And the last thing you need to do that will really help your makeup to pop is to put on your liner. And I am using um, Stila's Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm just going to want to line it as close to your lash line as possible. So just like that and what I used on my cheeks earlier and you can't really tell but um I use max gingerly and that works really well and it, it goes good because it's a neutral color it's a nice peach color peachy pink color and it doesn't um, overpower your face and it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup so it's great for every day and um, if you're transitioning into like a nighttime it's great to put on like something a little more shimmery on your cheeks to make your um, cheekbones pop which I would suggest Fadabulous would be great because it, it's exactly like um, Gingerly from MAC but um, Fadabulous has more of those really shiny um, it's it makes it has like this highlight color which highlights your cheeks which is really great so um, I would suggest that if you're transitioning into a nighttime party kind of thing so this is what it looks like it's this um, just neutral, what kind of pink stuff. 
and if you need to just blend out your crease area as needed and you should be good so I'm just wearing a regular white t-shirt um, and it works really well so look at this it's not too um, dark not too light and it's perfect so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys soon